All right, I'm looking at the uh, test study guide for chapter five and six that we looked at on the web. One of the things it says for chapter five is it says, know how to translate word problems into equations to solve. And there's a problem in the book that talks about JetBlue Airlines. Are they still around? <laughs> Airline industry is having some problems these days. JetBlue reduced its Dallas-Fort Worth to New York City fare by $140. The sale price is $360. What was the original price? Now, when there are word problems, first of all, you have to, you're going to have to read it several times. Okay? The first time I read a word problem, it's like, Jim Blue reduced his sentence up, something, something, or this was this, what was it, you know, that's about all I get at the first time I read it. But when I go back a second time, one of the things I do is I say, are there any words here that don't matter? They don't matter to the answer to the problem. Does it matter what the airlines was? No, it could have been America, it could have been Delta. Those words don't matter from a mathematical standpoint. Reduced its fare, does it matter where it was going to? No, it reduced something by $140. Seems like those are all important. Okay, reduced something by $140. Now, it often helps to say, what if I knew the answer? What if I knew the answer? We want to see how these numbers relate to each other. For instance, if I said, what if I started with something, what if I started with $1,000 and I reduced it by 140, what would I do with those two numbers? I'd subtract, wouldn't I? I'd subtract 140 from that. Now, in terms of the terminology here, we've got this number, which is the amount it was reduced by, We've got this number, which was the sale price. And we've got this number that they're looking for, which was the original price. And we said, what are the, what's the relationship between those numbers? What would we call this thing? Would that be the sale price or would that be the original price? That would be the original price, wouldn't it? And we said if we took the original price and subtracted this reduction, then we get the sale price, wouldn't it? So in other words, in general, the original price minus the reduction is going to be the sale price, isn't it? We're just trying to see how these things relate to each other. Once we see how they relate, the math part of this is not hard. It's just a subtraction part. But figuring out what we subtract from what, that's the challenging part. Okay? So, Let's fill in what they gave us. Did they give us the original price? No. Did they give us the reduction? Yes, that was the 140, wasn't it? And did they give us the sale price? Yes. yes. That was 360. Now, <laughs> um, if this were a thousand, and I subtracted 140, I would get 860 with them. If I knew the 860 and the 140, how would I get this thousand? I'd add those two together, wouldn't I? So that's the same relationship here. If I know these two numbers, I add them together and they give me the original price. Okay, so that, that's one way to attack a word problem, is simply to see how the numbers relate to each other, Make up a situation where you know the answer and see how they relate and say, oh, okay, this number goes here, this number goes there, I add them together to get that original price. But what if you get the original and get a reduced price? I'm not
Oh, yes, that, that would be the wrong answer, right? Because we don't take this and subtract the original price to get right. the reduction. Yeah. 140 minus 1,000 would be a negative 860, wouldn't it? Right. Yeah. So, so we, have, we, have, we have to be careful and subtract in the right order. When we're adding two things, it doesn't matter which order it does. Mm -hmm. But when we're subtracting, order does matter. Addition and multiplication, order doesn't matter. But subtraction and division, order does matter. Two divided by four is not the same as four divided by four. That's where I always get mixed up at. Where to put what? Because I put it the opposite way, like I just said. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, if you came out with a negative 860, you'd know that was wrong. Uh -huh. right. I can't have but a sale price the where, where they're going to give me 860 bucks to take their flight. <laughs> Or you could just say, well, I must have mixed them up. It must be in a positive 860. But that's a dangerous game to play. Because if you, you get an answer that's negative, and it doesn't make sense, so you just change the sign. That doesn't always work. OK, so that's kind of uh, a little primer on uh, figuring out word problems. Now